Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to please take any card you want. And that one. Now, you want that card or you want to exchange it for any other one? I want. That one? Okay. Now, notice I'm gonna put it back in the deck of playing cards. No funny moves. Everything is very well square. Notice by spreading the deck of playing cards, only one card is face down. And that card is your selection. Okay, so in this video, I will show you how you can turn the deck over uh, in front of the spectator's view uh, without taking the hands out of the camera view. And uh, there are two ways. The way I did it in the performance is this way. Okay. And the other way to do it Okay. Is it kind of looks similar, but it's not the same. In that way. Um, let me show you first the way I did it in the performance, uh, which is this is all you have to do. Uh, notice by squaring from the sides, I have the index bent right under in the deck of playing cards. And by doing this, I'm gonna do this move under the cover of this hand, like that, okay? And once I already stretch it, I'm gonna shift or switch the index for a thumb, so I can spin it this way. So by spinning, the purpose of the spinning, and by this side of the hand, I square it, this side of the deco playing cards, and by this hand, I'm squaring this other side. Now, I try not to go all the way uh, like that um, but it helps you know to cover any um, discrepancies because when you do this you may end up you know flashing these other face-up cards that's the issue so that's the only thing you have to practice which is not even that uh, big deal that complicated but uh, you have to find justifications for the before and after the move which is this spinning and then this uh, turning action okay once again uh, you do some moves before because the spectator they, they take any card away from the deck you do this move you square and then you spin okay so by doing this uh, spinning motion you are you're actually squaring from the sides and by doing this other one you are squaring from these short sides so you're pretty much squaring for the four sides of the deck okay that's why you keep spinning and it looks more subtle this move so that's the first way i did it in the performance the second way let's see if you like it better which is showing everything okay and that's the move okay this one um I only spin it halfway under the cover of this hand right here and then with these other fingers I flip the deck instead of um, the first method which is from this um, long side by spinning you square this second method you just spin it from this short side and spin it this way so from here only the bottom card is face up and that's it that's the move and because it just take half spin right under the hand and all the half is completed by this other hand instead which is um, maybe a little faster uh, not a big deal but you have to practice the fact that you have to square so you don't end up flashing any of the cards. So the first method is by stretching and then shift the index for a thumb. And by doing this with a forefinger, I'm spinning. And then you spin this other way as well. Okay. Under the cover of the hand. That's the first method. 
So you do some moves before and after to justify the turning action of the hand. For this first method and for a second one, which is this. One last time from the magician's perspective, uh, you stretch and with an index finger right underneath and shift or switch the index for a thumb so you can spin the deck this way and then this other way okay so this is the move very slowly under the cover of this hand it has to look uh, normal that's why you do some moves before and after you spin it uh, you practice uh, how not to flash these cards too much and then you spin it this all the way okay it's not that complicated but you do have to practice how not to flash the face of cards okay for that the first method the second method maybe it's a little easier than the first one because you only have to spin it halfway instead and the other half you do it with this other hand from the short side like that so this is the move okay you spin it and you spin it again only halfway they take the card and spin it that's the move you see it is um, kind of fast which is gonna be up to you you like it better than the first one because in the first one you have to do the whole move yourself with this hand and the second one you do half move and then the rest completed with the help of this hand so that's gonna be up to you and that's pretty much it uh, now again for a performance uh, you have to have the card face up okay before they even start taking the card. So as soon as they take the card out of the deck, you have to do the squaring gestures and then the spinning. So when they put a the card back, now put it, of course, uh, face up. Now, the way I did it in the performance, I did a tanfan in a reverse way, which is a little bit more complicated but you don't have to do this in case you don't like to do this uh, tongue fan and uh, you can just bevel the deck and the specter they can put it themselves somewhere in the middle and by the time you square it show both sides so they can see there is no gaps or breaks you can then turn over the deck under the cover of the top half now I already have a tutorial for that one in case you want to see that one just go to this video footnote and I'm gonna explain this other technique, which is a different one. Uh, in this video, I just wanna explain how to turn the deck over under the cover of this hand, so you don't have to uh, move yourself too much or get away from the audience view. Okay, so this way is gonna look um, okay. Uh, however, you don't supposed to make any any big deal out of it. Now, by the time the spectator they take the card out of the deck. Uh, when you start doing the move, you ask the specter, oh, you want that card? Or you want to change it for any other one? So they don't pay too much attention on the deck of playing cards. At the same time you're speaking, they are looking at you instead of the deck of playing cards. But in case you have more audience around you and they are too picky, they are staring at your hands. This movie may become a little bit more handy for those people who stare too much at your hands.